everyone, it's Mindy from MommyMouseClubhouse.com and today I'm going to share with you an amazing recipe for a croissant French toast casserole. This French toast bake is perfect for weekend brunches or holiday breakfasts because it can be made the night before and baked when you want it in the morning. All with ingredients you probably have in your pantry. And then we're going to top it off with a delicious caramel syrup. Now make sure you have hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Here are the ingredients that you'll need for the French toast. Four or five large croissants, eight eggs, three cups of milk, one tablespoon of brown sugar, three fourths teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of butter. For the caramel syrup, you'll need one half cup of light corn syrup, one half cup of brown sugar, and one half cup of heavy cream. In a large bowl, whisk the eggs, milk, brown sugar, salt, vanilla, and cinnamon. Or you can mix these ingredients together in a blender. Cut the croissants in half and arrange them in a 9 by 13 baking dish sprayed with non-stick cooking spray in a single layer. Cut the croissants into smaller pieces to fill in any gaps if necessary. Pour the custard mixture over the top of the croissants. Cover the dish with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least four hours to overnight. When ready to bake, remove the French toast bake from the refrigerator and allow it to sit for 30 minutes. Bake the casserole uncovered at 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes until it is a deep golden brown. While the casserole is baking, make the caramel syrup by whisking the corn syrup, brown sugar, and heavy cream in a saucepan over medium heat until the sugar dissolves. When the casserole is ready, remove it from the oven and brush the top with melted butter. You can also sprinkle it with some powdered sugar. Cut the French toast into slices and serve it on a plate topped with sliced strawberries, whipped cream, and caramel syrup. I hope you love this French toast bake as much as I do. The full recipe is in the description below, as well as a link to the printable version at mommymouseclubhouse.com. Make sure you are subscribed to this recipe channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.